friends. Welcome back to the Daily Devo with Jess. I'm Jess, your host. And today I'm going to be talking about the topic spiritual burnout. So a couple weeks ago at my church at Hillsong Phoenix, Pastor Terry Chris gave a beautiful message about why we struggle with spiritual burnout and what we can do to sort of get ourselves out of that pattern. And it was so good. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. I will also include in the show notes the link to watch the full sermon should you be interested. Uh, so we want to start off with why do we struggle with spiritual burnout? What is spiritual burnout? Well, for me, it's that overwhelm. It's that fatigue that I feel in my spirit. When my soul feels heavy, when I stop wanting to go to church, when I just feel burdened by life, that's what spiritual burnout means to me. And Pastor Terry mentioned in this message, what are the reasons that we struggle or we suffer from spiritual burnout? couple of different reasons. First, we get spiritually attacked. We get attacked by the enemy. Have you ever had one of those days where all the dominoes like did not fall into place for you? It was, you know, an awful day. You started by the car wouldn't start and then your kid got sick and then your boss told you you had to work on the weekend. You know, that kind of a day, those unexpected spiritual attacks that jump into our lives and cause us to just feel overwhelmed, reluctant and tired. Another reason is not managing toxic emotions. So sometimes we get into circumstances or our circumstances cause us to have anger, depression, sorrow, hurt, resentment, bitterness, and so on. And they grow to such a degree that they become unhealthy for us. Here's a few more. We don't manage negative people in our lives. In other words, we don't put boundaries between ourselves and people that you know, steal our energy, steal our joy. Here's one that I loved. Our lives are misaligned with our kingdom purpose. And Pastor Terry made sure to be clear about this. It's not doing the work, it's doing the wrong kind of work. So if you're like me, you say yes to everything. It's like you go to church and people say, hey, you wanna serve in kids? Yes. Do you wanna serve in hospitality? Yes. Do you wanna lead a connect group? Yes. Do you want to preach? Yes. <laughs> and you can find yourself in a place where you're doing so many things, but not all of those may align to your specific purpose. So my thoughts are this. If you find yourself in this sort of sorrowful, emotional burnout, we've got to take hold of that, right? So Pastor Terry gave us a couple of thoughts about, you know, managing toxic emotions. We can have emotions, but those are not who we are. That's not our identity. We can experience strong emotions, but we can actually grab hold of them. We can take control of those. And here's how he said in Philippians four and verse eight. And I love this scripture. I mean, I love a lot of scripture. Okay. But this one is so good. It says this, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is an admirable, if anything, is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So Pastor Terry was mentioning, think on these things to help overcome spiritual burnout. And he mentioned this thought that enthusiasm is God breathed. Holy Spirit power is what allows us to have enthusiasm for life. So my husband is the consummate enthusiast. Before I met Jesus, I was the consummate pessimist. Like I was just always waiting for the next boot to drop in life. But I learned a very valuable lesson one day in our marriage. And my husband and I took our kids to a sled hill. And he got on the inner tube with our daughter and goes flying down the hill. Woo! Just living it up, laughing, having fun. My daughter's screaming with joy. My husband's screaming with joy. And I felt my face like just break into a smile. I couldn't help but smile and laugh with them. But I noticed something important. I wasn't the only one smiling. I wasn't the only one laughing. All the people that were waiting in line to go down this sled hill had participated in the joy that my husband was exuding. And so that's why I think enthusiasm, having a celebratory nature is so important as a Christian. And it's so important when we suffer from spiritual burnout. So if you're struggling with spiritual burnout, feeling that heaviness in your soul, find something that makes you laugh. 
find something that you can celebrate with enthusiasm, no matter how small it may be. If you need to just go outside and look at a sunset and celebrate it, do it beyond your comfort zone. I mean, go outside, throw your hands up, Lord, this is a glorious sunset. Would you just look at it? It's beautiful. And just start to express in an enthusiastic way how you're going to celebrate life, no matter what spiritual burnout, no matter what heaviness you might be feeling. So that's my Cliff's Notes version on spiritual burnout and how we can sort of start to overcome it. I hope it was helpful. Let me pray for your week and then we'll get on with it, all right? Lord Jesus, we're so grateful and thankful that you give us the tools that we need to overcome spiritual burnout. Lord, that you help us to have enthusiasm for life. You breathe life into us. You breathe the ability to celebrate and rejoice no matter our emotions, no matter our circumstances. Thank you, God, for how good you are to us. And we pray for a blessing on everyone who's watching this this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for watching to the end. If you like to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Take care.